What's good, YouTube and I? This is your man, t -Bow. Welcome to Lords of the Long Box. This is my end of 2019 comic book haul, or you just say my last haul of 2019. It's been a relatively slow year, but I got a nice batch of books here that I bought from uh, my LCS, who had a day after Christmas sale, Comic Tunes and Toys and Tustin. Uh, two eBay, uh, excuse me, two YouTube auctions, uh, one from uh, Comic Core and another one from the NY Warriors. And then one was a, a nice little um, A-OK, -okay, or it was, uh, what did we have? No, it was my man Jimmy C on YouTube. On Instagram, he's been doing his thing for the last few years where it's a secret Santa. So I picked up somebody, and then somebody got me. I didn't know who they were, and uh, they got me some cool stuff, man. So let's see what, what I got here, man. I'm changing up the uh, uh, the background a little bit this year. You notice I have a shelf up, and I'm going to do, I put the sign back there. I got a new ring light, so hopefully we'll see how it comes out. See the rings in my eyes? I meant the little light thing. Not these rings. Yeah, I'm old, so I got bags under my eyes. But um, let's see how this goes, man. You know, as with anything with lights, there's always glare. So uh, let's go right to it, man. First off, I got this gorgeous Marvel Tales, Doctor Strange. Oh, man, this is absolutely gorgeous. This came out a while ago. Uh, but I thought I'd just show it now. There is a Virgin logo variant. That's a one in like uh, 500 or something. My Even my LCS says, look, I'm not going to get that. You're crazy. You're out of your damn mind. Um, let's go to uh, my man, Boston Comicolic, who was my secret Santa. Or excuse me, I was... I was his, I, he's my secret Santa. Yeah, he's the one that gifted me these. I got somebody else, so it was random. So he's really cool that he got me four comics, man. So first up, Strange Tales 163, awesome. Doctor Strange 172, awesome. Obviously, he knows, he knows I'm a Doctor Strange fan and a Master of Kung Fu fan. I got a giant size Master of Kung Fu number one and this really cool Defender 17. Hey, no glare. See, maybe the key is you got to show books outside of the bag. Also, so I re I redid my entire um, office, uh, studio, funk lab, whatever you want to call it. And it was fun, something funny is I actually found the slab. I'll show that after my haul, but it's pretty damn funny, man. Um, next up is another new comic that I got. This is another Doctor Strange. This is gorgeous. This is the Delato cover of Doctor Strange, Surgeon Supreme number one. If you notice uh, the actual title, it says Doctor Strange, as in doctor. Uh, on the other comics, it says it's spelled out D-O-C-T-O-R. This is because he's a, now a surgeon. So in title, his name is Doctor Strange. And I believe I posted on my Instagram when they, they used to just go back and forth with the title of doctor in the comics. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you'll see that. Next up is I hit up my LCS for their um, annual day after Christmas sale. And typically it's uh, like 20, 30% off all back issues. So I went in there and digged in them long boxes for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I picked up some cool stuff. First up is this one. I, I, I've never had this one. I, I was surprised when I found it. And this is in really nice condition. This is Nick Fury, Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. Number one in a gorgeous VF copy. Oh, man. All these are in really nice shape. Next up is I got a Spider-Woman number two. And see, I never do hauls like this, by the way, either. Normally, I, uh, I'm i off camera showing these because this way you get a better look at them. But now you get to see my ugly mug on camera. Uh, Spider-Woman number two, the significance of this is this is the first appearance of Morgan Le Fay, who is going to be the villain in the upcoming Runaways uh, Cloak and Dagger. So first appearance. Well, let me say that first Marvel appearance part of that, Morgan Le Fay appeared in... Um, Atlas Comics under uh, part of when Black Knight was part of Atlas before Marvel bought them. Next up is the second appearance of Danny Rand, which is Iron. This is Marvel Premier number sixteen. This is my third copy. This is also a gorgeous VF copy. Uh, I take them out of the bags, but you know way. Next up is one. I always hunt this book, by the way. When I'm when I look for it, another gorgeous VF copy of Marvel Premier number two. And you know what? Let me show that in a second because that actually goes with this other haul that I got. So let me show you these. I pick up two of these, obviously, because I pick them up whenever I can. This is the first appearance of Excalibur in the comics. I don't know how many copies of this I got now, but I got a bunch of them. We've been specking on that for a while now. So let me go through this Marvel Premiere run that I got. 
and it's uh, almost complete. I already have Marvel Premiere number one. Um, so now I have Marvel Premiere doubles of this uh, the Marvel Premiere number two. Marvel Premiere number three. I really hate doing hauls this way. Let's get that. That's gorgeous. Marvel Premiere number four. As you can tell, there's a theme here. Marvel Premiere number five. These are all in, some are near mint. These are definitely high grade. Got them for a great price, my man, the big to-do. Number six. I should put it over this shoulder, but then you really can't see it that well. I feel stupid. I'm never doing hauls like this again. <laughs> Marvel Premiere number seven. Doc, some more Doctor Strange goodness. These are like doubles, triples, and I know I have four issues of this one. This is Marvel Premiere number... Eight, and I love this cover, man. This is definitely down for Halloween comic covers. Marvel Premiere number nine, another gorgeous copy. Number ten, this is I love this cover. Look at that classic cover. Marvel Premiere number eleven, twelve. Trece and the Catorce. Um, so Marvel Premiere 3 through 14 is the entire Doctor Strange run of um, uh, in the Marvel Premiere run. Marvel Premiere 1 and 2 featured Warlock and then it went from 3 to 14 and then 15 obviously was um, Iron Fist. Uh, Marvel Premiere number 15 is the first appearance of uh, Daniel Rand and Iron Fist. Next I got these from my man Drew Manchu on a, uh, I think it was an auction for on um, Comic Core. Uh, one of them, there's so many auctions now then, but you know what, you can get some killer deals out there. And I got all these um, for 15 bucks and they're great high grade, um, all in Mylar. So prepare for ultimate glare. So this is like Copper Age Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider number seven. And Mylar. Ghost Rider number eight. These are all, I got all these 15. Number 11, these are awesome covers too, by the way. Number 12, featuring a guest appearance by Doctor Strange. Number 14, 17, and boom, this is going up for it. That's a Jack o' Lantern. What's his name? Well, actually, that's the Hobgoblin. Check it out. That's a dope cover. So see the, my light ring in the, in the this or this is a gorgeous gorgeous cover this one is badass look at that as i'm looking over in the monitor i should be looking in the camera and that's why i don't do hauls this way but you know what you get to see more of my pretty face this year and i actually bought them all for this this is the spec book this is the first appearance of um that's some villains that are coming up. I need, you know what? Let me pop it open and find out because I already forgot their name. That's the only reason I bought this lot because they were only 15 bucks for all of them. So uh, I'm going to tell you right now. I want to say it's the first appearance of two villainesses. I think like Hag and Troll or something. Like that. Um, there's so many specs sometimes I even forget. But no, this is a key issue to go out and get. Uh, Ghost Rider number 23. It's the first appearance of two villains that are going to be featured in the upcoming Marvel shows. Number 24. And number 30. All that. Got all these for 15 bucks. Thanks, Drew Manchu. Next up is, I got. I believe I got these from Archangel on the three men in a basement um auction not three men excuse me well they probably had an auction too but no this is on uh and my warriors auction let me get the tape off of this uh this is all in mylar too uh the only significance of this is they are all gorgeous gorgeous michael turner covers and i'm a huge fan of michael turner so i had to get some supergirl number one gorgeous michael turner cover here is the variant of it this light doesn't do it justice. Look at that. Gorgeous. 
This is Batman Superman. This is the Jeff Loeb turn run. And this is a gorgeous um, black and white Michael Turner cover. This is Witchblade, number 103. Another gorgeous Michael Turner cover. Rest in peace, of course. Michael Turner helped create Witchblade. This one is the reason why I really got it, to be honest with you. Um, oh, well, I'll get to that in a second. But uh, let me get to show you this one. This is Top Cow Classics, black and white. Another Michael Turner cover. Look how gorgeous that is. Michael Turner died way too young, man. He was such a talented cat. And this one. This is another Top Cow classic. I don't know the rarity of this, but I absolutely think it's gorgeous. This is uh, obviously Witchblade number one. Look at that, Michael Turner goodness. Look at that. There you go. And so I was cleaning out my office as you see behind me. And... Um, I was pulling out the bookshelf and I was like moving things. And at the very bottom, something had fell down there for, I don't know how long. Find out it's a slab. Yeah. Iron Fist 14, first appearance of Sabretooth signed by Chris Claremont in a 7.0. This is the old label too. Look at that. That's absolutely insane that I found this. So I thought I had sold this to be honest with you, but now I have it again. And Sabretooth is such a cool character. Um, also, make an announcement that all of our the hoodies that were pre-ordered through the Geeky Swag Shop are um, now fulfilled. I went ahead and bought the last six that needed to be ordered, and uh, I'll probably be giving those away. I got them in large, extra large, and double XL uh, on the black one. So, thank you, everybody, for supporting the channel. And the hoodies are going to be processed and shipped out probably in the next week or two. Uh, so, you should be look out and look uh, be on the lookout for your hoodie in the mail coming up very soon. And I appreciate your patience on that. Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, next year, hopefully get some more books. I'll be headed to um, California Comic Con on January 26th. More man, the big to do and a bunch of SoCal comic collectors go out there and get digging in them long boxes. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some major keys there as there always are. So a uh, happy new year to all. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas and the Lords will be back, back in the new year. Again, we're doing our live show. Right now, we're a bit on a hiatus, but this is my last haul of the year. If I have time, I will go through everything, and I'll try to do a best of 2019 before the New Year's drops, which is a tall tale, tall task because it's, it's uh, December 28th already, so I'd have to get around to it really quickly. But thank you all for supporting the channel. We will see you in the New Year. Until next time, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.